We'll begin this session by first using the Select Working Directory option to make sure our Creo Models directory is selected. Then we'll use the Open option to retrieve the block part. Now we'll click on the Hole command. Next, we'll left click on the front face of the block at the approximate location of the hole in order to select the primary reference surface for the hole. Creo now displays a preview of the hole. We'll now use the cursor to slide the two dimensioning drag handles to the front and top surfaces of the part. This will cause the hole to be dimensioned from these surfaces. And then we'll double click on these dimension values and change them to 10 and 15 units. Next, we'll double click on the diameter dimension and change its value to 10. We'll now use the dashboard to change the depth specification to intersect all surfaces so that the hole will extend through all surfaces of the part. And finally, we'll click on the Verify icon, followed by clicking on the checkmark icon to complete the construction of the hole.